Hi guys, so somebody asked for a tutorial on my uh, V-Ray Tune shader. It's not actually a shader, it's a combination of masks that I composted in After Effects. Uh, any editing software works because you only need four masks, uh, simple and very fast to render. <coughs> um, we need some geometry, um, doesn't matter what. Basically, I want to... Um, uh, get my first mask uh, using either a standard material with uh, self illumination of 100 but I prefer uh, using a V-Ray light material uh, with a gradient ramp uh, let's test out what it does right now uh, not so great so I um, want to use it for masking uh, two different colors, solid colors, so I get that cell shading look. Um, I need the V-Ray light, either V-Ray light or it works uh, with Omni as well. Um, I need a powerful light, so uh, it makes that thick contrast. Um, let's try that, 300, doesn't matter at this point. Um, because uh, we're gonna do some tests, so let's see what we get. <laughs> Nothing special yet, <coughs> because it's a very light material. But I change uh, the gradient type from linear to uh, lighting, and now I should. Ah, okay. So the colors uh, should follow the light right now. But we need uh, something closer to cell shading. I'm going for solid gradient and um, from white to black, so I get the mixing uh, right in uh, my image editor. Nothing, so my light is way, way, way too low. Let me try bigger on oh, the window. A lot nicer right now, but I need to raise it a bit. This is kind of the result I I wanted, so I'm going for a white uh, backdrop. So I, I I I don't have the same color from the shading of the object on uh, on the background. Let me render. Oh, okay, this is kind of good, but now. Um, you need to play with uh, the position or whatever is the purpose of your rendering until it kind of looks okay um, you can you can either try to mix it from from directly from 3ds max but uh, i prefer the kind of pre prefer the freedom of editing in after effects or adobe photoshop get a look uh, kind of like this but okay so let's do the mask this should be a short and simple tutorial firstly you need this mask second um, you will need like and let's do another very light material with uh, very dirt so I can get uh, ambient occlusion I like the feeling of uh, yeah, even if it's cartoon I kind of need uh, to feel my volumes and so let's play a bit with this I I, I don't think this oh, let me assign the materials first <coughs> uh, it's kind of harsh around the, uh, these ages so I raise the radius a bit and the fall off to something like this. Maybe it works for you. I don't know. It, uh, it depends on the scale of the objects. So uh, fiddle with uh, the settings until you get something that you like. Okay, so I like this. Um, you should save uh, all these masks. Like the first sequence of you have an animation. 
uh, you should say uh, the first mask with the gradient ramp and uh, the sequence with the ambient occlusion. Uh, now we need a fall off. Um, ah, first uh, let me render the V-ray render line. So let's use V-ray tool world. Uh, let me try this. You should get something like this. Um, fiddle with uh, the settings here. So I don't know. Maybe this would be okay. Maybe a little thicker. Okay. Save this sequence as well. And uh, now let me deactivate the very tone. And uh, the final mask. I need um, some. Um, fall off type mask so I can hide all my lines ambient occlusion and stuff like that uh, in the center of the object I uh, did a lot of experiments and I prefer it this way let me do a simple light material with a fall off uh, and the diffuse and no, should look like this so in the center of the material it should mask all the lines and everything you have around here let me pull the my old project and show you how uh, how I actually did it I have this uh, gradient ramp uh, the ambient occlusion the fall off and uh, the line art okay let me make a new layer and call it like base and another one I'm calling shading so um, you can choose either I don't know which color uh, it's right for your project let me get a creamier color and for shading something darker for now and a bit red, yeah, like this. Um, this I'm gonna mask with my uh, gradient ramp rendering that I did. So now I, I have this. Uh, I should invert the masking, I guess. Let me see if it works. Yes. So uh, this is your base color and shading. Now uh, we should use, uh, uh, I can't throw that away. Uh, you should uh, use the ambient occlusion either simple as that or you can add a, a bit of color to it. I don't know, like maybe this. And uh, when I'm happy with it, um, I'll activate my line art, set it to multiply. This is practically the basic tone shader that uh, everyone uses, so I wanted a bit more refinement to it. I took uh, like the ambient occlusion and the line art, and let's make a group and mask it all with with my fall off. This is what's it for? Okay. So now there is a subtle, um, the line is more subtle, it's not uh, like very up in your face and the uh, ambient occlusion as well, it's more on the edges and less on the inside. Uh, it works great in motion. Um, you can either um, play with the levels or contrast or whatever so you can get the perfect look you're looking for I don't know can do that with the follow-up as well like masking more or less from the line art and the ambient occlusion okay so basically this is it it's a basic uh, tutorial it's nothing fancy but I guess it wasn't clear from the video description okay
uh, this was my first video so sorry for my uh, stuttering and repeating and have a nice day bye